Welcome to a quick video from Firewalls.com on how to renew your Sophos subscription. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you how to activate your license key that you would get after purchase on a Sophos firewall. Um, that's pretty much it because it's automatically applied now, and we'll go over all that. So the first thing you're going to do is contact us at Firewalls.com or your reseller slash partner uh, that handles your Sophos to purchase uh, a subscription. Uh, you want to ensure that you provide the serial number of the device you're renewing subscriptions for during that order. It's very important. Next, you'll receive a license schedule. Uh, that's the email uh, indicating your renewal has already been activated, uh, or you'll be given a license key to activate. Going back on that, uh, effective February 22nd, 2023, all Sophos Firewall renewal licenses will be auto activated once the order is processed. So you no longer need to activate a license key. But in the case that you do, uh, additional steps are required to complete the renewal. All right, if you receive your license schedule email, uh, with a license key, uh, then you'll need to activate it. If there's no license key, it's already been automatically activated for you. Uh, so, once we have that license key from our order, we'll need to next log into the firewall to activate the license key. Okay, and when you're logged in, um, this is located under uh, System, Administration, then licensing, which will be the first tab. All right, when that page loads, you'll go ahead and click on Activate Subscription. Once you click Activate Subscription, you'll get a pop-up that'll look like this. I'm using these screenshots here just to blank out uh, proprietary information. But this is important. You want to verify on this screen when that pop-up comes up that you're applying this license key to the correct serial number. Um, the model and the email address will be located here as well. You'll go ahead and type in your license key that you'll see here. And you can see there's reference. This is the, uh, the license schedule. This is just, just a general look of what that email will look like. And if you have a license key here, this is where you'll find that to input here. And then once you've inputted your license key, you'll go ahead and click on verify key. Alright, when you verify a key, you'll get to this screen as an additional step just to confirm. Again, it shows you your serial number, email, and model that you're trying to activate the subscription with. The subscription key entered earlier, and you'll see the features that come with that subscription key uh, that was part of your order. Once you confirm this information is correct, you'll go ahead and click on Confirm. And then once you confirm, you'll get taken back to the licensing screen, the pop-up will go away and you'll see under the module subscription details um, the status of your new subscription changes to subscribed and you'll see the new expiration date. So that's pretty much it. Um, really easy. Um, most of this you're not even going to have to use like we talked about just a minute ago. Um, when you renew a license the order is automatically activated so you won't have to worry about really any of this, but in some cases you will, and this is how you apply that license key. All right, really short video, uh, not much to it, but if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in case there's something we missed, and we'll get back to you. Look forward to more videos. Thanks. So that's it for this video. Make sure you leave us more comments and questions. Also make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out firewalls.com.